Hi everyone, welcome to A Clary Tale. I'm laughing because you've just clicked travel vlog and I'm already here. <laughs> I am so sorry, I did not do an intro or narration throughout this travel day and I am just editing it now and it's all over the place. So I thought I'd do a bit of a chatty intro now so that you're up to speed and you know what's going on and I'm not just going straight into a music montage. Welcome to Florida, welcome to a brand new series. I am in Florida for four weeks so there's so much to come in this series we go club level at a disney resort we have a very special snow white themed birthday we go to legoland we have park days in magic kingdom and epcot there's so much to come do hit that subscribe button if you would like to see all that fun stuff hit the bell button as well so that you know when i upload i try to upload every sunday and i might throw a bonus vlog in every now and again on a Wednesday as well when I have time to edit so do make sure you subscribe stay tuned we've got so much to come so back to travel day the vlog before this one you may have seen it was a sit down video from home where I talked about the plans of the trip I'll just quickly briefly go through our travel day with you here then you'll see it play out and I'll catch you back up later so we flew from from Manchester Airport to Orlando International Airport via Atlanta and this was all with Virgin Atlantic so we did drop down it does extend travel day we ended up being extremely tired that day and there were some delays we had traffic on the road to get to Manchester Airport which delayed us by about an hour and just little things like that were happening so by the time we got to the villa at the end of travel day we were exhausted but Dropping down does make the price a little bit cheaper. I don't know, you have to weigh up the pros and cons if you're thinking of doing something like that. But something exciting that we did at Manchester Airport, we went to the airport lounge for the very first time. I treated my parents and surprised them at the airport. I got all that footage. I'm gonna put all of that in here. Fondo. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, oh, I like that. That's really nice. Yeah. All right, guys, guess what? what? We are going to the airport lounge. What? I booked it for us. Oh, we well done. Done. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> We're going to follow signs for the premium loungers. Yeah, as soon as you come out of duty free. Up the stairs. Yeah. Up the so you come out of duty free, and then through here, we're going to go up these stairs. And we're going to the airport lounge. They seem pleased, didn't they? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Escape 1903 lounges. So we're going down here. Here we go. 1903. And then they have the escape lounge here as well. But we are going to 1903. This is the check-in desk. Are you excited? Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> it sounds very nice. Oh, so that's the that's the escape. And we are heading into 1903. Oh, how exciting. Oh, we've got Rosé Prosecco. Oh my gosh, cheers. Let's do it to mum and dad. <laughs> Here you go. Well Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Happy, holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, this is nice. Cheers. 
Yeah. Yeah. I've got two lily, that'll do. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> You're going for Glen Fiddick. Right, love, let's <laughs> have a go. <laughs> Do you need yeah. ice? <laughs> Dad's finished the bottle. <laughs> I finished the bottle. <laughs> they won't let us back in here. <laughs> it's Jack Daniels here too. What? Lovely. <laughs> so, give you an overview of the lounge. We've got food over there. We've got a drinks area on this side. Seating area over here sitting area and then we can watch the planes and this is where we're sitting over here <laughs> and we've got a coffee place here as well so they're currently changing over from breakfast to lunch but let's quickly show you what is here for breakfast we've got sausages and bacon we've got scrambled egg beans we've got tomatoes oh look at those and hash browns, tomato sauce, brown sauce, salt and pepper, there's some bread in here. White bread, brown bread, so you can make a little sandwich. Uh, but it looks like they're getting this ready for lunch now. So I'll show you that in a second when it's here. They've got, they did have cereal all here. So they had cereal and we've got some more down here, the Weetabix and sauces. And then we've got some pastries, cookies, We've got croissants, pan au chocolat. And then they have some ice cream in here. How cool is that? We've got strawberry, vanilla, honeycomb, and chocolate. On this side, we've got yogurts, muesli. We've got fruit. On this side, we've got a drinks station, waters, coffees. We've got syrup for coffee, loads of tea. So this is one of the two drink stations that they have in here. Let's show you what they've got. So let's have a look at the first fridge. We've got beers, cans of beer, bottles of beer. We've got cider, Guinness John Smith, IPA, Heineken down there as well. And then this is the same, more beer. We've got fruit juice, orange juice, apple juice, multivitamin juice. They've got little snacks here as well. Popcorn, love hearts, crisps, all the wines, red wine up here. Loads of different types. We've got Malbec, Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz, Merlot, champagne. There's a rosé champagne. That is really tasty. And you just help yourself got white wine in this fridge. Again, those different types of white wine. Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay. Got soft drinks on this side. Coke, Diet Coke, tonic water, soda water, lemonade. And then this is the liquor. So we have got gin. Well, we've got cordials here. Lime, orange, and blackcurrant. All the different types of gin. Look at that, so many different flavors raspberry, orange, rhubarb ginger, palmer violet gin. We've got Manchester gin, of course, being in Manchester. Tanqueray, vodka. We've got Captain Morgan and Captain Morgan Dark. We've got Spiced Rum, Glenfiddich, Jameson, Famous Grouse, Jack Daniels, Disarano. We've got Baileys, Pims, Aperol. You can even do a little Aperol spritz. I think that's everything. So yeah, you literally just help yourself to a glass from here and just pour yourself a drink. It's amazing. So this is the same. It feels a lot nicer around here. You've got the views of the planes as they're taking off. But yeah, it's all the same. Champagne in the fridge. Oh, there's a Kawazi. I didn't see that on the other side. Lime and lemon as well. Tabasco, if you want to make a Bloody Mary. So much choice. Actually, I think I'm gonna get a Coke for now. So they have the bottle openers here to open it up and you can just put your rubbish in here and it does say here, do not take beverages away. Oh, and we can have some ice in our drinks. It is the lunchtime offerings now. We've got Caesar salad, we've got sandwiches. Wow, we've got a red pepper and tomato pasta. We've got all that cheese. 
We've got Stilton, Brie, Cheddar, some fruit, pineapple, grapes, melon. We've got cream and jam for the scones. Carrot cake, crumble, blueberry loaf cake, raspberry and white chocolate loaf cake. Wow, they look delicious. We've got chicken ramen in these little dishes. So they've still got the sausages out, but they've also got fish pie and new potatoes. Wow. Did everyone enjoy that then? <laughs> I'd just talk to you here a little bit about our opinions of the lounge because I didn't really talk about it in the clips that you've just seen. I did really enjoy it. We loved the food and drink and having the alcohol. We were all excited about our upcoming trip and everything like that. The magazines and newspapers that we had access to, watching the flights coming in and out. But I did always feel like I was checking the time. I didn't feel fully relaxed there and I was a bit anxious about getting to the gate. It was miles away from the lounge I don't know if any of you have experienced that before so I don't know it, I loved it I loved the experience I don't know if I'd do it every single time but it was a fun different sort of start to the travel day and my parents loved it and yeah we made the most of the food and drink I definitely think next time I'd like to try and get there earlier so that we can make the most of the hours that you're allowed in there and it was a real treat i'm really glad we did it something else i didn't mention in this vlog we experienced for the first time the brand new x-ray machines going through security so we didn't have to take out the liquids and the laptops and ipads and things and it was really smooth really quick i was surprised just how quick because none of us are all sort of packing and unpacking anymore so that was really good hopefully that'll come to more airports in the future but yeah really enjoyed that experience for the first time because we just zoomed through which was a bonus as well because we were running slightly behind schedule but let's head back to travel day they just gave us love hearts how cute which is nice, we'll be able to recline and I both got some apple juice and we've got these funky snacks smokehouse barbecue crunchy corn nibbles our plain food has arrived we've got this little salad orange and oh no chocolate and orange ganache a little pot we've got cheese and crackers it's cathedral city cheese with Jacob's crackers some butter bread roll and then I went for the chicken so it's chicken and leek casserole with mash and veg oh thank you and this is what it looks like it looks quite good it does whoa there you go mashed potato and some veg yeah sweet corn and peas looks great <laughs> Afternoon tea has arrived, our mile high tea, and the scone is warm. I can't wait for this. I've been looking forward to this one. Right, what have we got then? Sandwiches. What flavour are they? Cream cheese and cucumber. And then we've got tomato and rocket. Jam for the scone and cream. Oh, Simon's happy. It's his Cornish cream. Brothers. And what are these? Little chocolate. Little chocolates. I got two little chocolates. Oh, did you only get one? Yeah. What do I win? 
Well, an extra chocolate. An extra chocolate. <laughs> right, the true test. What goes on a scone first? Jam or cream? I feel like everybody asks that. <laughs> what is the Cornish way around? Jam first, then cream. That's what we do in our house, the classic Cornish way. It's hard to spread jam on top of cream. Yeah. You spread cream on top of jam. We are landing in Atlanta in one hour. I'm so excited to be on American soil. I've gone through three movies. I watched two rom-coms and I watched Barbie movie. I actually really enjoyed that, it was good. We've had a really smooth flight. I loved the meal, the afternoon tea, and they came around a lot with drinks, which I appreciate. And yeah, it's been really good, I've enjoyed it. I enjoy these seats, don't you love these seats? Yeah, they're really good. Oh God to relax we've got them fully back so there was just an announcement then and we got told on check-in our suitcases don't go all the way through to Orlando we have to pick them up at Atlanta recheck them in to then carry on on to Orlando we have to go through security and all that again as well we have two hours to do all this fingers crossed we can do it Atlanta's a big airport we should do just landed in Atlanta an hour earlier than scheduled. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, what a difference compared to Manchester. It was raining in Manchester. Lovely, sunny Atlanta. I've just picked up a Coca-Cola in the home of Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, they've got Atlanta merch. Atlanta jumpers. All the Atlanta souvenirs. Oh, it's a shame we're not actually going out to see Atlanta. It's a great city. I think I want you all the time now. I guess I never feel the same. guys we're here <laughs> we are here and straight out as well we don't have to go through any checks because we did it all at Atlanta let's get the train and we are here at the famous flag at the hotel we've actually stayed in here i'll put a link to it below if you'd like to see it oh it feels good to be here oh well thank you mayor buddy dyer for welcoming us to orlando here's my case so we have just come down the lift to where all the rental car company desks are we are with alamo this time we tend to go to alamo they are a good company to go for. My dad and Simon are just there at the desk sorting out the admin and then all we need to do is go across here and pick up the car. Oh, I can't wait for that lovely Floridian air to hit us. Oh, it feels good to be back. It's not actually that hot, but it is 11 p.m. at night. <laughs> so we didn't get that heat hitting you sort of feeling, which I'm sure we'll get tomorrow. Right, Alamo, right. Oh, they roll so nicely, these suitcases. Thank you. So any of these ones, so we've got the mid-size, have we? Yeah. Right, we're just gonna have a walk around, check that it is okay and there are no scratches or anything. 
Right, we're going for this one instead. We are deliberating our options. This has got a massive boot to fit all our cases. And it seems quite nice inside. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. Simon is just walking around the car, filming, making sure there are no scratches or anything. And if there is, we just let Alma know. And we've got a timestamp on our phones then if there were any problems. So we're going for this one. What's that? Did they drive on? Did they drive on the right side? <laughs> yeah, make sure you're on the right side of the road. <laughs> Exit. So that's for the information that we got from the counter. Your driving license and then they wanted the credit card. And we give that to this, to this. guy in the box. Oh, there's actually a little check box here. So it says, make sure you have your driver's license, method of payment and paperwork. So we want the 528 West. 528 West. We are coming up to the toll. I'll let you know how much it is. We've decided to just use the cash instead of getting one of the toll passes just because we won't be back on the toll roads after this right cash lanes so we're going to keep right let's see how much it is here are the prices three dollars exactly three dollars exactly you want to go to Tampa to go to Walt Disney Staying west for Tampa. Coming into Disney Springs now. Ah, down here, 535. We've got Disney World signs. This is where we used to come off to go to housing. Yes. This is Bahama Breeze right here. This is uh, Dolly's, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is it, Dolly's. This is premium outlets. My family call this Dolly's because there used to be a Dolly Parton restaurant here. But it's called premium outlets. And most importantly, we need to get the country music stations on 97 Country. Ooh, where is it? There it is. Right, let's set that one for that one. And then the other one was, was it 93? Oh, that's not, that is definitely not country, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Ah, this is it. Yeah. That is definitely country. And we'll set them for those two. And whenever there's adverts, we can flip between the two. <laughs> so because it's after midnight, both Walmart and Target are closed. So we are coming to Wawa to get some essentials like milk and water, Mountain Dew. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> well, it is an essential, but... <laughs> Uh, but what I'll do is I'll film a Target shop, our main sort of Target shop, in another vlog, so stay tuned for that. Right, acquired. <laughs> I've shown you all the villa before, so I won't do a proper tour, but we'll do a quick little whiz around. This is the kitchen and dining area. The company that look after the villa always put crockery out for some reason. This is the dining area and living room let's go and look at the bedrooms we've got a bedroom here cupboards and things just here a bathroom another bedroom here and then i'll just show you my parents bedroom and then this is my parents bedroom you've bought a new uh yeah, thingy so that's new. nice new that And this is their own suite. Then we've got our little pool. Oh, I can't wait to get in there. Oh, it does feel good to be home. 
It's like I've never left. It is 12.30 a.m. Florida time right now, so we're all pretty tired after a long, long travel day. So we're gonna head to bed. It's like 4.30 a.m. England time, so way past our bedtime. So I'll pick you back up later to finish the vlog. And that was travel day. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with us. Sorry, it was a bit all over the place, but that's travel day, isn't it? It's just a busy, full on, stressful day, but I hope you enjoyed what I did film. But when I say stressful, it's always amazing to get here. Let me know below, what is your favorite part of a Florida travel day? Like I said at the beginning, there's so much content to come, four weeks of footage. So do make sure you subscribe. Please like this video if you did, it really helps my channel and helps push the series out to more people so that would be amazing if you could do that and we'll see you next time for another video bye make your memories make your memories take your pictures make your memories